it's 138 and I need to sit down for a while. Um, I got a lot done today. I, I've been cleaning up in here. Clearly I've, I've changed some bedding around. Got some more laundry and stuff to do. I've got some stuff in the dryer that needs to get put away. More to go in the washer. And I gotta get the room cleaned around for game night tonight. Hoping to play code names. I did get my, oops, that is not the right place for that stitch to go. I got my, um, my kids to school at a reasonable time. There was some grumbling this morning. I did ignore a few of my alarms, but at one point I did talk into my remote and tell the TV to turn on some news. The news will wake anybody up. Let's see, today I've had my serving and a half protein coffee and probably going to go get another just a serving of the same stuff. And then um, also had some fruit, pear, I think it was. So yesterday, um, I was I was trying to break some ice in the freezer because I thought I need to uh, bail out some water from the melted ice. Well, it turns out that was frozen, and now I have a split knuckle, so that's been painful, particularly while driving the sun beating down on it. That's been fun. Oops, missed the arm. What else did I do today? Washed my hair, lasered my armpits. Um, yeah. So tonight for game night, I'm hoping for, well, obviously we gotta play Relative Insanity because we're not bored with it yet. And then I'm hoping to play Code Names. But if we get any requests for something else, Maybe joking hazard. Well, I guess joking hazard is a little mature. I haven't gotten any editing done. I need to do some of that. But it's kind of hard to do that and watch TV at the same time. And I've been on TV kick. I finished season three of Virgin River. What did I watch before that? I think there's something I was watching before that. Oh, Cold Case Files while I was cleaning. And for some reason, my, my TV is having these issues with Amazon and Hulu. Where it's telling me I'm on a VPN, and I'm not. Yeah, I, I I remember seeing all these ads for you can just watch stuff from other regions and on a VPN, and I guess now they've got a way to figure out if you're doing that and stop you. So much for that. And I don't think don't think our network has a VPN. We actually have multiple networks. I don't think I any of them have a VPN. Um. What else was I doing? Been cleaning up. I've been sorting things. I've been going through neglected parts of my room, trying to get things to, I, I guess, better situation. So I'm looking at the, I keep going through the t-shirts that I have on my backwards hangers and you know, what do I want to get rid of and what do I really care about and want to keep? It just seems time to do this. And I've got this Game of Thrones shirt, just as I drink and I know things. And I mean, it, yeah, Tyrion Lannister. Um, I really love that character. I really love that quote. And I'm trying to think why I don't wear it more. And part of it is when you wear a shirt with stuff on it, it gives weirdos an excuse to stare at your chest. But at the same time, everybody looks really good in plain shirts. Everybody. Like a solid color. Who came up with putting logos on t-shirts in the first place? Anyway, um, I think I'm going to give it a try on, and if I don't still love it, I'll probably wear it tomorrow. If I don't still love it, then I'm going to probably put that in the donate pile. Then there's the gish shirts like this one. They don't all fit me. I'm not fond of every single design. I'm not trying to collect them. All this crap winds up hanging in my closet that I don't wear. And I got my four Halloween shirts out of my costume drawer. I know it's only mid-September but I'm gonna be wearing them 
pretty much non-stop once we get to the later half of the month. Is that three? That's three. Next shell. Now, now for those, I definitely keep those round. I don't know why. I don't know why I have Halloween t-shirts. I enjoy them. Um, good enough. And they all seem to be in a size that is small enough that I would have had to stretch to wear them before and should fit me just fine now. Even if it does say extra large, that's been weird. Extra large. So I keep having this picture pop up in my memories and I'm, I guess I'll put it on the screen. But this is the shirt that I was in and I just... It's... Um, I think I lost some, some, some bulk there. Things are weird. I, I don't even know how well my audio is going to pick up during this. I have my ring light set on, but I, um, I put it in the closet because game night tonight. And I gotta get this blanket over here washed. I gotta move some of these school supplies and things. Um, I got the cover put back on my sleeping bag. I got one of the, one of my blankets put away where it's supposed to be. And so this corner, the, the god hole is fairly empty. I mean, it's what, sleeping bag, yoga mat, and roller skates. And that's it. And I just put my stuff away. I, there's so much nice space in here. Alright, I'm gonna go handle laundry and I guess this and go over here. I wound a couple of skeins into a couple of yarn balls earlier for better use in the yarn bowl. And that was a piece of cardboard falling down. Um I thought about going out to get more yarn today. And I realized I have a bit to go. And I know it's like 30% off right now. But I think I got enough that I can wait till the next time it goes on sale. I don't know if I gave it time, but it's uh, it's one forty eight now. It's uh, five forty three, and it's dinner time, and I'm watching um, something called the. Uh... Oh crud! It it stopped. I was watching, and I disappeared off my screen. Uh, Legend of Skinwalker Ranch, or something like that. It's interesting, but anyway, here's here's dinner. That is a uh, salad, of course, with raspberry dressing, a pork roast wrapped in bacon with like uh, jalapeno and cream cheese inside, and also some Mexican street corn. And I'm working on a left over here. Uh, coconut body. It smells really, really good. It's 150, and um, I've not been video editing by plan to here shortly. I was listening to TikToks and didn't allow wake my kiddos. Um, Soot has joined me. If that even shows. Hey, Kitty. Um. Game night. Uh, game night was kind of a, a wash. Neither, neither of my parents decided to play games tonight. Um, let's see, we did one round of relative insanity. I wanted to do code names. We wound up not doing code names. Um, one of my kids was participating. The other was barely looking up from either his phone or the switch. And it was like grunting, super communicative, right? Uh, Pokemon happened, not with me. I, I, I can't focus on card games like Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. Um, there was some discussion about Dungeons and Dragons, but there was not any action towards getting any closer to doing stuff. And... There was a lot of moving furniture around for not very much games. Next week, there's a new game. Um, 
we'll be playing and I think that that'll be a lot more fun. I I should start getting clips of of relative insanity. That or mixing cards against humanity and grounded for life and relative insanity and see what comes out. That could be fun. I I am like fallen over. And you put my air conditioner back on. But I think the most fun that we had game night was somebody went to the kitchen to grab something and realized that there was this weird liquid coming out from well I got cut off because uh, there was an amber alert they, they, they gotta have these amber alerts I really wish they wouldn't go to maximum volume though because uh, if I actually had my headphones on and this has happened before it goes Maximum volume, and that's all the warning you get to rip those things off your head, and then it starts blaring. Like, yes, give me the amber alert so I can look for, don't, like, watch for whatever vehicles or suspicious people or whatever. Look for the kid, right? You gotta have that. Amber, alert, amber alerts only go out when it's assumed that the kid is in danger anyway. Not some kind of a civil thing. It's like serious issues, man. But automatically top volume. Mm -mm. No, man, I am. I'm not doing great. Anyway, uh, yeah, somebody went to the kitchen to to get something, snack or drink or something. Found nasty water in a weird part of the floor, and we realized that the RO filter under the sink. The reverse osmosis filter. Something went wrong. And we don't know how long it was leaking. Boy, that takes me back to February. Uh, the pipe burst and we don't know how long it's been running unchecked. Ooh, boy, that's awesome. So, so the, um, the RO filter was of course disconnected from the pipes and stuff and everything should be fine now. Ugh. Maybe I should point a heater in there. I'm gonna get some sleep. I, I don't know. I just, I gotta get my kids to school at a reasonable time tomorrow morning. So that requires sleep. And as long as I am still awake, I'm going to try to do the most boring thing I can and edit a video from, I think it's September 2nd, where I already put all the chunks together and it's ready to get started. Thanks for sharing my day with me.